Now our next contestant, please. to have you with us. Would you tell us your name and where you're from? Mrs. Ruth Oster from the Bronx. All right. <laughs> now we have, uh, oh well. Before we uh, begin, let me give you some background now on Mrs. Oster's secret. It started one day last week when she drove home from work, parked her car, went into her apartment and went to sleep. And when she left the house the following morning, she discovered, among other things, that uh, she had become an ideal candidate for I've Got a Secret. Now, Mrs. Oster, if you'll whisper to me, we'll find out what other things you discovered. Mm-hmm. Well, there uh, must be more. That's not so terribly unusual. Ah. <laughs> the clue panel concerns something that happened, and we'll start the questioning this time with Henry Morgan. Mrs. Oster, uh, Steve said you parked your cart. Uh, does that have anything to do with what happened to you? Yes. Ah. <laughs> Then uh, whatever happened, happened after you woke up and found that your car was not there. No, my car was there. Your car was there? Yes. Uh, was anybody else involved in this secret? No. Was your car in the same shape as when you left it? Yes. And there was nobody in it. Um, was there anything in... What? <laughs> it was just a buzzer, man, Henry. Oh. $20 down, 60 to go. Betsy? Mrs. Oster, were you in the same shape? <laughs> yes. Well, you awakened in your pajamas, and your car, you went to sleep. You went to sleep in your own house, is that correct? Yes. You parked your car in front of your own house? Yes. And when you awakened, something that happened to change your life? Uh, well, yes. Uh, not uh, well, in any drastic sense, but something it, unusual had happened. It outside. happened, did, are you a sleepwalker by any chance? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, did it happen to you? No, it happened to Only my to car. car. Forty dollars down, Bill. Betsy didn't establish. She said you went to sleep in your own house, and you said yes. Did you go to sleep in your own pajamas? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. Stick oh, with right. the. Uh, I know, but I like the question. I... Stick with the car, Bill. <laughs> your car was physically changed, was it, Ruth? No, it was not. And yet, it was changed in a sense. Something yes. about the car Something was about different, the car. but the car itself was still the same. Oh, I got it. It wasn't her car. No, it was. Oh, it was. You don't have it. I don't have it. <laughs> Would have been good, though, if I'd have had oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe something happened. Maybe somebody was born inside of a car. Was, uh, that. Yes, that happened last week on the show, I think. But I think we digress. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. $60 down. You did? Yes. You don't want to share it. No. All right. <laughs> Mrs. Oster, did the car have any visitors during the night? No. Well, yes, I would say. I mean, for example, could several policemen have come and ticketed it several times during the night? Well, not several times, but... Uh, once, yeah. at least? Once, Just yeah. once. You got a ticket? Yes. yes. For parking? Yes. And there's more? There's more of the secret. <laughs> and you went down and you refused to pay. Does it have anything to do beyond getting the ticket, the time of the ticket? Is it what you got the ticket for? Yes. You got the ticket for parking in front of a hydrant? No. Something very usual? <laughs> You were narrowing in on it there. Uh, as I told you, uh, when Mrs. Oster got home from work last week, she was lucky enough to find a legal parking spot right in front of her house. Now, here in New York, that alone could get you on I've Got a Secret, you see? But uh, <laughs> life today is a little more complicated than that. Mrs. Oster, will you tell the panel the sequel to your uh, initial good luck? Well, I went home. I came home that night, and when I got up the next day, I came down and found a ticket on my car. It seems that the city had installed a parking meter oh, during the night, and I got a ticket. <laughs> now, even though you were uh, lying down all night when this happened, you're not going to take this thing lying down all the time, No, I'm right? not. What have you done about it? I called the traffic, and they told me to send their, my t uh, a letter telling me when they put the meters in. Mm-hmm. But I really don't know when they put the meters in. It happened during the night. I see. So what's your next step? My next step is I'm going, we're coming up to trial. <laughs> I'm going to court, May Pay 18th. the $2. <laughs> Pay the $2. There's an old burlesque sketch called Pay the $2, and I think you're living through it, uh, Mrs. Oster. Another, in any event, lots of luck, and we'll follow your case Thanks. with great interest. Thank you Thank so much. You.